one of the reasons we want to talk with you is because you, I think, in a lot of ways, represent what the future of the Republican Party mm -hmm. could look like. I do believe that if the Republican Party doesn't start looking like the rest of the country, there won't be a Republican Party in this country. But we know where the trends are going, and we know what we need to do. Minorities, people under the age of 29, and women with a college degree in the suburbs um, are not choosing the Republican Party. Um, so that's the, that's the reality of what we have to do in Texas. And I think I've been the vanguard in this fight by showing how to win one of the, if not the most competitive seat in the United States of America, a 71% Latino district. You just refer to yourself as the vanguard of all of this. Then what does it say that you're leaving? Uh, to help it in a different way, right? You know, there's, there's more than one, one way to help. How do you square that with the fact that the Republican Party is led by President Trump, who he, you said he, tweets racist sure. things, calls he, Baltimore a rat-infested right. city that no one wants to live in? He's not my boss. The Speaker of the House is not my boss. The minority leader is not my boss. My responsibility is to represent the 800,000 people I represent. Those are my bosses, right?